category. And I'm joined by Francisco Filho. Globe, globe. Sorry, Francisco Filho is actually is referee. referee. Oh, Goodness referee. me. <laughs> oh, you know, all you Brazilians look the same. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> globe. Pretty as the same. <laughs> <laughs> You're all handsome. So sorry about that. Yeah, no worries, Globe. My man. Fetosa. Yes. Another legend here with Kyokushin and uh, K1. What an evening we've had, Glaub. Yes. Absolutely fantastic fights. And here we are with the big guys under 90 kilograms. Yes. Serbia facing Argentina. Vukan Roganovic faces Pablo Melina. Yes, the long reach man now. Well. It's been quite a journey for those gentlemen lost last two days fighting and now they reach the final. Yep, and it, you, you can't underestimate the fact that they've already fought two fights to get here this week. That's right. So they they must be carrying damage from the previous fights. For sure, but you know, sometimes that increase more desire to to win because you're not not want to let it go. Well, it's a funny thing in uh, in the combat sports, you know. It's something where you actually start to enjoy the pain. <laughs> um, and in Kyokushin, yes, pain is a huge factor. Yeah, how how you dominate the the, 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 the feeling, you know the when you feel pain. Well, that's an interesting point, Glaub. You know, you can fear pain. Of course. At, but it's also, so you try to avoid it, and that makes you, you don't commit enough, but then it's how you deal with pain. You know, you know, uh, our, you know, fighters, we deal with pain every day, every single day in the training, you know, the hard training, the hard sparring that you do in the gym. So that, that makes your, your, your spirit stronger. So once you get that spirit stronger, sometimes you overcome the, the, the physical sit situation that you, that you find out, you know? Yeah, but there's nothing. It doesn't matter how much you train, there's nothing to compare with stepping into the ring through those ropes and fighting in front of a crowd under the lights with the cameras on you. A bit of a little bit of a hip throw there. from Roganovic. And this contest, a little bit uh, of a brawl. Now, that was a very even round, I have to say. Mm. Me too, I, I say the same. Well. They have the, about the same pace. The same pace? Same pace. Uh, it was. A little bit of a brawl, I would say. Mm. But if I was to go out on a limb and score that first round, I, well, I don't know. I never, ever <laughs> like to, I never, ever like to give a round a draw. Yeah. Because I, I, know. I think that's weak uh -huh. scoring. That's weak from a judge to give it uh, a 10-10. But I'm going to... Edge it by one punch to Serbia. One punch to Serbia. Okay. Roganovic in the blue corner. So that makes it interesting. So I'll give to Argentina, to my fellow South American. Brother. Really? <laughs> oh. Let's see, let's just see. Just because you're bigger than me. <laughs> <laughs> just, be, just because I got your name wrong at the, at the beginning. You're gonna, <laughs> but here we go again. They're both swinging. They've both got the power to knock each other out. Oof. Now, Glad, why is it that the amateurs, they don't... It's going to be another little trip here, I think. Or, that's a bit untidy. But yeah. why, why is it that the, none of the amateurs seem to be committing to heavy low kicks? Yeah. It's such an effective technique. And then they, they could take advantage, advantage on it because... Okay, the last two days they were fighting with the shin pads. 
with with shin guards, but now they haven't. So they should use more low kicks now. And we'll see. When, when we move up to the professionals, you'll see the combinations being thrown, yeah. and the combinations finish with a low kick. Um, especially anyone who's trained in Holland, that mm. seems to be compulsory. Little elbows thrown on the inside there from Molina. Now the work rate here for these guys at this weight is is high, and. It looks like Roganovic is getting tired. He took a right hand there from Molina. Yes, Roganovic is definitely tired. Yeah. My fellow Argentine is searching <laughs> for more for the for the shot. For the big shot. Yeah, he looks Let's focused go. here. And the last few days may have taken their toll for Roganovic. It's very possible there. And part, you know, a big, a big factor in fighting in a tournament or, or uh, events Ooh. like this, gum shields come out. And Francisco there, just getting it cleaned off and replacing it. Yes. But if we look over there in the blue corner at uh, Roganovic, he, he's definitely tired. Needs to a neutral corner. Yeah, he should have been in the neutral corner there. <laughs> he's looking for sort of a takedown again. He's now working on it. <clears throat> I like to see, you know, very strong, explosive one, two. Oh. Oh. Hook followed the straight. One, two punches in the middle. Yeah, I, I get what you're saying. An explosive yes. boom, straight right, followed Ooh. by a left hook, explode, yes. and then followed by a right low kick. Mm. Now Roganovic goes back to his corner. And he looks exhausted. And Molina standing up. They're both tired. The pace has been fantastic here in this, in this final at under 90 kilograms. And I'll say, I did give the first round to the blue corner. The second round there, I have to give to Pablo Molina. Yeah, I'll keep the Molina. I'll keep with him. But yeah, but you're biased. Mm -hmm. well, I, how can we trust what you're saying? Well, you're, 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 you're absolutely <laughs> biased. No, but it's very close, I have That's to say. That's very close. You know, um, as a judge, or as a, you know, the different angle that you see in the ring so shows you sometimes mm. different kind of, you know, heat or kick or punch or pace. Excellent point, and you that know? is why I tell people yeah. You've got three judges yep. on three different, different sides of the ring. And that's why we do it. Mm -hmm. That's why you need majority. And it's interesting sometimes people disagree with the decision and I say, go back and watch it again. Yeah. And they go, wow, I didn't, I didn't see what I saw when I watched <laughs> it the first time. So Pablo Molina here coming forward. Oh, that was a nice knee there. Knee. Nice low kick. Yeah, that low kick there just uh, stepped. Look at it back again. He's working harder, Molina. More inside, yeah. Definitely, 100%. Again. And he's pushed him in the corner. He should take advantage of this. And Roganovic is on the back foot. Roganovic is very, very tired. Sorry. 
<laughs> and it's so frustrating if you've got the skills and the technique, but you haven't Not got the, the stamina key. to keep it up. Oh, There's low that low kick, kick again. And again, oh. that was a damaging one. He found a good way. Just work with the hand, and then what you just did before, you just said before with the low kicks, yep. remember? Yep. But he, he needs to set it up. Mm. Work the hands first. Connect at least one punch, and then go for the low. Again. Nice body kick from Raganovic. Inside low kick. And there. If someone throws a kick, as they step back and their weight goes onto that leg, boom. Oh. There we go. Time is running out for Roganovic. He needs a, a knockdown at this point for me. Well, you have to give it to him for his heart. Last 10 seconds of this third and final round of the final in the under 90 kilograms, K KWU Senchi Amateurs World Cup. All right. And Rogelovic absolutely gave it everything there. Last final. Well. Of the KWU Senchi Amateurs. Now that was as hard as it gets. An incredible final. Let's Welcome Akira Masuda as the special awards presentations. Well, I had to give that third and final round without question to Pablo Molina. Yeah. So for me, that was two rounds to one. And on your card, Glaub, mm. three rounds all to your fellow countryman, fellow Pablo country. Molina. The Argentinian. But Roganovic raising his arm, mm. and you know anything he can happen. He must believe, he must believe himself. Anything can happen. <laughs> and what would be crazy would be a fourth round. Yes. Uh, which I'm sure everyone would love to see, but mm. let's be realistic. I'm certain that Pablo Molina has taken the decision <laughs> We have the official scorecard from the judges. Here we go. Here we go. Judge number one, 30 to 28, in favor of the red corner. Judge two, 29 to 29. Whoa. Judge number three, 30 to 27, in favor of the red corner. Pablo, yeah. Pablo Molina. Congratulations to Molina. You called it, Glaub. Yeah. And two judges, two judges gave it 30. <laughs> yeah. yeah. And but a great victory, actually. Yeah. Well deserved. Well deserved. Roganovic was strong in that first round, but maybe mm. there you have it. He's the suffering from the, the from last the two days, you never know. The last two mm. days, he's already fought two Molina times. Two hard Canada. fights to get here to the final. Mm. The but and then I can, I can tell you, I was there for the, la for the last two days and there was all hard and strong fights. Very intense. Absolutely crazy, which, as you say, hard, intense fights leading them to this final, which makes winning it even more of an achievement. In special. In a stage like this, ain't she? Beautiful. Yeah, and it's crazy, isn't it? We want the world to see the level we have here. And it's not just the fights, the way they look after everyone, the respect, the sportsmanship and the Budo ethics. Senchi really is creating and has created something very, very special in the world of combat sports and martial arts.
So, really. Thank you very much, my friend. Oh, 